Welcome to my project ideas. This is an ongoing series on Chat GPT projects. In this particular project, we will try to integrate Chat GPT with SAP. So there are a few prerequisites. You know, doing any integration in SAP web app is a bit tough because it has a lot of uh, access issues. So the very first thing you need to have is Chat GPT API access. Then you need to have SAP web app developer access. And then you need to align with a basis guide to do HTTPS setup via SMICM T code. And also once all these are done, then you need to have SSL setup either via SSL nodes or via S trust configuration. So it's like a SSL handshake uh, requires a certification within SAP, SAP web server. So these things are required. I believe you are a developer and the last two steps are something that you will not like to do. So better align with our basis guy. Anyhow, we'll continue with the video. Yeah. So the flow is very simple. You get an API from open API. You create an SAP web report. You write some code, do HTTPS call, get the response show to the user. That's it. That's the simple steps. So we'll quickly jump to the browser and uh, I will add this URL within the description so that you can visit and create your own API key. Just click on create new secret key, a key will be generated for you. And also I will share this uh, article where you can read end to end steps, how exactly you can do the configuration of an API, any API. In this particular use case, we are using chat GPT API and call it, get the response, show to the user. So let's jump to the report SE38 is where we have written the report. We have called it Z chat GPT. So most of the part is something very standard for SAP where SAP has provided function modules to do HTTPS calls. So we have written the HTTPS uh, call or the API link, which are, which we have to call to get the data. We have created a parameter for which we have written uh, the text element as like this. Enter a question. And that particular parameter is passed in a form of data. Uh, it is called prompt. And we also pass something called max tokens. This is something that we have hard coded. 50, it can be 500 also. It is a maximum length of output that you will receive from the uh, open API server. And you need to convert this L data into existing data so that uh, this is something, uh, you know, accepted by the HTTPS call of SAP web server. Then you create a client. This client will be required to set the time method. It will be required to set the authorization. So what the API key that you have created using open API key will come here. And you can either pass your data in this format or like this two ways are there multiple ways are there you can google it out to know more and once you have created the payload you are done with the question you pass those data in this particular format you send your api call to open api and then again you call this method to, to receive whatever data is coming back from the api and accordingly either you show the error or success or in case empty data is coming then you show okay uh, the call was successful but you got no response and again, uh, as discussed, we have one more T-code, right? And it is SMICM, SMICM. So in case your call fails and you are not sure why it is failing, so you can go to this particular T-code, SMICM, click on go to, click on trace file, click on display all, and scroll to the lowest part. So earlier I was getting a lot of errors. I will show you the errors so that uh, in case you are also getting the same errors, you can cross check here. Because those errors are no more visible here. Anyhow, uh, HTTPS calls was not successful. And for that, I have to do configuration of HTTPS calls. And those are visible in services. So if you see, I have configured HTTPS at this server host. So all these things, you can Google it out how, how to do setup of HTTPS calls in S-Trust and SMICM. 
so anyhow these things were like uh, setup was done and now my call is successful until open api so i will show you what is going wrong as of now and the probable solution so when i try to execute i can ask what is full form of sap right and click on execute so as of now i am getting an error application server error so i am not particularly sure that if i am able to even reach until open api or not so if i go back and just switch this https to http and try to call again the same thing what is the full form of sap then i get the error from open api it says that open api can only access via https call and not http so it means i am able to reach until open api but somehow i am still getting error right so if i just try to execute once again the same thing and get the application server error and i will try to go back to this smicm trace file and display all so i can see that for my use case ssl handshake is failing so ssl setup is still remaining right but until here we have completed a very major part that was to communicate with uh, open api so we are able to send our questions but ssl connections are not fine that's why we are getting error but we have created a different video using sap ui 5 i will also add, add the video link in the description there you can go and see the same api with same server keys same open api keys and same api url we were able to send the same question and get the response so this program is 100 percent correct uh, but some basis work is still pending so yeah that's it we have successfully created a app report with chat gpt integration although we were not able to see the responses but the connection was successful that's it we'll meet in next video thanks a lot bye, -bye.